Brendan, the last few times I've interviewed you has been for Calvary, Live by Night, mm -hmm. and Hampstead. Right. So I never thought I'd be interviewing you for Paddington. What made you say yes to something like this? Knuckles. <laughs> I was afraid to say no. <laughs> um, ah, yeah, it was a great opportunity, really, just to ham it up, wasn't it? You gotta like Knuckles. It'd be very difficult not to like Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much fun is it? to be able to ham it up, to be able to be the baddie. Well, it, it's great because um, because you know that there's somebody who knows what they're doing behind the camera. It's yeah. very challenging if you're asked to hang, a, hang ham it up with somebody who doesn't know what they're doing behind the camera because you can be really left badly exposed. Um, you can look like you're trying to be funny when you're not. Uh, and that's just a hideous experience for everybody involved. So, uh, like, it was great to know that Paul had a track record, that Paddington 1 was really, really good, that Paddington Bear, the first film, was really, really good, and that he knew what he was at. And then to find out the longer we did it, that he really knew what he was at. I have to admit, I was really cynical going into this, just going, Paddington 2, here we go, and mm. just another money earner. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah. Why do you think this film is so important for cinema? I don't know, is it that important for cinema? I just think it reaffirms the fact that these things are possible. You know, you try it every so often. When something works, it allows us to keep trying. So that's basically, you know, what it does. And if you get working with something that actually comes out the way it should, or as well or better than you hoped it would, you can keep going making the other ones that don't <laughs> quite get there in the hope you make another one that actually works. Paddington has so many different odd jobs in this film. Mm. What's the oddest job you ever had to do? What was the oddest? No, that's, that's, too, that's too hard a question. <laughs> do you remember your first job? Uh, I think, what did I do? Oh, yeah, picking tomatoes, I think. Yeah, I was picking tomatoes. In Ireland? In, yeah, some tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> Says North County Aussie. Dublin, the best tomatoes you can ever get. There you go. Did you ever hear that? No. No. Um, how did it feel when you were, you know, on those official forms, and for me it's when I fly, and they say occupation. Yeah. How did it feel the moment that you got to write occupation, actor? Yeah, it felt great. I mean, it felt as if I kind of had come home a little bit. Um, and I enjoyed teaching when I was teaching, but no, it felt as if I was doing, it, was, it did feel kind of, uh, felt right, which was <laughs> hopefully not misplaced. But it, it did, feel, it felt what I should be doing. That's what I should be doing. Do you still get as excited by it today as you were back then? Um, in a different way, really. Uh, yeah. I mean, I love stuff like this, for example, where you can kind of go at it and just, just remember the joy of it. And then there are other places where you have to go into a sort of a, a darker mode and you're just trying to negotiate the stuff as well as you can. Um, so I still find myself loving it. Um, I don't regret a second of anything, even the bad films, you kind of think, I know what I was trying to do there, I know what they were trying to do there, uh, but so no, no regrets at all. I love the relationships Paddington has with people and the person who has had the biz biggest impact on Paddington's life is Aunt Lucy. Mm. Which person in your life has had a ma massive impact or who is the hero in your life? I suppose my mother was very influential. I did, there was a Christian brother in primary school who was very influential. He used to put on concerts with us and stuff like that, Pat Grogan. And um, he was a big influence in the sense that uh, he... he uh, he didn't really see any boundaries to what he, he'd put on. When he put on a concert, we had, we had wooden television cameras and everything flying over the top of the, of the, the audience uh, and little Jimmy Moore sitting up on top of it, let, pretending to be an RTE or something. So he was a great, um, yeah, he would have been a great influence. And uh, there have been a few people over the years. Paul Mercer, too, was somebody that I, I found very inspirational. And, um, John Borman was a huge kind of influence. So I've been lucky enough uh, over the years just to you know, constantly meet people that, that say, yeah, no, that's just this direction here. You're heading in the right direction. The last time I spoke to you, you mentioned the possibility of doing something small with the Coen brothers. Yeah. You said it was going to happen in August, possibly. Yeah. What's the update? Yeah, done and dusted. What can you tell us? Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what, what's out there at the moment. I think it might, it was something they did for ne Netflix, but there was supposed to be a theatrical release, but I don't know if they, I don't know what's happening with that. But I didn't care. Um, all as I know is I went out to um, Santa Fe and worked with the Coen Brothers for three or four days and was just everything I hoped it would be. Just, just a fantastic time. Really was. Really, really brilliant. And 
yeah, there were just five of us in the stagecoach. That was that's all it was. Amazing. And finally, something you can tell us about psychic. How yeah. amazing was it to be behind the car at the camera as well as on screen and working with your sons? Yeah, it was great working with the lads. Um, being in front and behind the camera is a bit of an issue. Like I didn't think it would be as big an issue as it became, just because uh, I quite enjoyed being behind the camera for what I was doing. And uh, I kind of found it a bit of a distraction that I wasn't there when I was in front of it myself. But I'm not in the whole thing, so I got a good chance to actually kind of direct uh, the other people just from, you know, just from just one job sort of <laughs> scenario. So I loved it. It's in the edit still, so we'll have to see whether it, is, uh, whether it works out or not. But it fe felt I enjoyed the doing of it. we we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing it. But in the meantime, we're loving Paddington too. Thank you so much. Thanks, William. Really,